The go to source definition command for JavaScript and TypeScript in VS Code tries to jump to the implementation of a function or method. This is especially helpful when you're working with a library and want to see how that library is being implemented. Let's take a look at it in this simple JavaScript React project. So here I have some JavaScript code, and it's calling some React functions that are coming from the React and React DOM libraries here, such as render. Now, if I hover over this, we can see the signature of render. But if I actually want to go and see the implementation of render, I can just go and right click on it and say, go to source definition. So I'm going to run go to source definition from the um, context menu here. You could also run it from the command palette. And this is going to try to go into node modules, go find the React DOM library where it was implementing render, and jump to the implementation of the render method. And sure enough, we can see that we're under node modules, React DOM, and it's jumped to the render method itself. Now, jumping to the actual implementation might be useful because it lets you see how the method is being implemented. This might let you know what calling this function will do, or if you're seeing an error, why that error is being thrown. So it might be helpful to actually go and jump to the implementation. And if I wanted to, I could then go further drill into things here um, and actually go really drill through the implementation. I'm going to go back and actually close this file now and return to the original JavaScript. Now, VS Code actually has another method, which is called go to definition, and that is the one that's going to be used by default. Go to source definition is something you have to trigger, and there are differences between the two. So let's look at the React DOM .create root method, for example, here. If I right click on this and say go to definition, it's going to jump into the d.ts typings file. So when you say go to definition, VS Code is going to try to find the file that actually has the de definition it uses for IntelliSense. And by default, it uses these typing files. When you instead say go to source definition, VS Code will try to go into the JavaScript from node modules and figure out where something is being implemented. So again, if we go to React DOM, and instead of saying go to definition, we'll say go to source definition, notice how we're now jumping into the JavaScript itself. Now, this doesn't have all the useful type information, but it does have the JavaScript that is implementing um, the function that we were interested in. Each of these functions do have their use cases, but in general, go to definition will be very fast and it should be pretty reliable. Whereas go to source definition, because JavaScript is so dynamic, may not always find the actual implementation that you're looking for. Go to source definition though, can be really invaluable when you're wanting to see how something is being implemented.